Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is exciting because we have all five of the brand new Bratz Series 3 dolls to open and look at. And this series is just really, really cool. I'm just so excited. So let's take a look at them in their boxes real quick. First up here is Fiona in her box. This is a reproduction of the Funk Out Fiona doll. But, you know, made to fit in with Series 3. She says, Hi, my name is Fiona. My friends call me Fragrance because I'm as sweet as I smell. Very pretty purple packaging. There is artwork of everybody down here on the bottom. Collect them all. But the front does not have Kobe on it, just so you know. Exclusion. <laughs> Next up, we have Dana. Here is her box. We have more of a, like, blue color scheme going on here. This is a reproduction of Funkin' Glow Dana. Here on the back of oh, Funkin' Glow Wave 2, by the way. She says, hi, my name is Dana. My friends call me Sugar Shoes because when I step out, I do it sweet. And there's her little icon. Very, very cute. Um, I don't really know if you need barcodes, but here is Dana's. And here's Fiona's. They're all on Amazon right now, so $26.99 will get you a Bratz Series 3 doll. Here is Tiana. We have red. Really love the red holographic. Looks really cool. This is a reproduction of her Welcome to Fabulous doll, which is also like referred to as Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas by fans, but that's not like the official lot. That's not the official name, but... My girl's going to Vegas. Anyways, she says, Hi, my name is Tiana, but my friends call me Hot Sauce because my moves are on fire on the dance floor. Uh, fun fact, her original nickname was Elegant Elephant. Um, but I don't think people like being called elephants when they walk in a room, so... <laughs> yeah, we, gotta do, we, we switched it up. So she has a brand new icon right here. It's a little flaming ch chili pepper. Also, everybody says they come with a hairbrush, a pair of earrings, two pairs of snap-on shoes, one fashion coat, one fashion top, one fashion bottoms, one pair of sunglasses. Although I think Felicia's might have like a sticker over it or something. And here is the one I'm sure most people are tuning in for this video for. The brand new reproduction of Campfire Felicia for Series 3. This doll is so beautiful. Like, I just was so happy that we got a reproduction of Felicia. Like... I had the original at one point, but I had to sell her to pay for my dog's hip surgery. And so it's just really exciting to be able to have one again, especially one that looks so similar to the original, like just so beyond ecstatic for this reproduction. But anyways, we have a green color scheme here on the back of the box. It says, hey, my name is Felicia. My friends call me Glam Gecko because I'm an outdoorsy gal who also loves to dress it up. And we have a brand new icon. Felicia's never had an icon before. And then brand new art that is actually the correct skin tone. And it's actually, like, oh, she's even, like, this does not look like that. It's actually brand new, too, because it's, like, made to look older than her original art. But it's, like, the same pose as her original art. Um, I think everybody actually has brand new art, now that I say this out loud. Super cool. Super cute. Uh, here is her barcode. You know, I didn't show, oh, and hers did, didn't have a sticker over it. That was just Dom's, I guess. I don't think I showed the um, barcode for Tiana Dye. Hold up. All right, there you go. Never said this was going to be an organized review. And lastly, here is Kobe, our Bratz Boys reproduction. This is a reproduction of New Cool Kobe, I do believe. Hope I'm right there. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Here is his little art. He doesn't have everybody else on the front of his box. Just like nobody has him on the front of their box. And, you know, uh, as this is the case with all of the boys, he's not in the same case as the girls. And he's, like, completely separate. Uh, but he's not separate down here. He's just separate, like, market share-wise. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, it says, Hey, my name is Kobe. The brats call me the Panther because I'm always on the prowl for new inspiration. <laughs> uh, I come with two cool tops, two pairs of pants, two pairs of step-on shoes, one pair of sunglasses, one hat, one comb. Collect them all. Um, uh, Lovehubbreads.com doesn't actually function anymore. Here is the barcode for Kobe. Uh, I'm not sure if Kobe will be in stores just because he's a boy doll. If he ends up in any store, it will be Target, I bet. I know that Dana and Tiana have already started popping up at Walmart, but I believe that everybody should start being in stores by August of 2023. Don't quote me, but that's just what I've heard. So we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, now that we've taken a look at all of their boxes, let's get them out. All right, everybody, our Series 3 dolls are out of the box, so let's take a look at their stuff. So everybody has a brush, of course. The girls get the classic Bratz brush, like the first edition one. 
and Kobe gets the classic boys comb. Kobe has a Bratz boys poster that is just him. It's not double-sided. Good for Kobe. He gets his own little moment. And then the girls get their, the girls with the passion for fashion, Bratz. Series three poster with all four of them. I do really adore this poster. I kind of miss like the holographic finish that the first edition ones had. I don't remember if series two had it, but this is a very cute poster. I really adore the new artwork. So I do have two of each except for Kobe. So this is gonna make my life a little bit easier as far as showing off their accessories go. Tiana comes with a pair of red sunglasses. Right here, classic sculpt going on. She does have the same heart-shaped tank that her original Welcome to Fabulous doll had. There is black ribbon uh, straps. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I was having such a hard time with that word. Black ribbon straps with like silver detailing. And there's a little piece of black mesh that holds it all together and Velcro's in the back. I don't know if it's like super shaped like the original was, but it looks good still. And here is her denim skirt. I have to say, I do like the original one a bit better. I just don't like the way that this one has like a raw edge. I can see some hemming right here as well. I don't know. I just feel like the original was done a bit better. This one's definitely a lot longer, a little more conservative. I think the original had more pleating as well, but it does have the same little silver details. This like big chunky piece don't know what it is but you know statement piece and then we have like the little beaded belt on top that all looks good and here are her iconic black boots i have so many pairs of these boots y'all it's kind of ridiculous but anyways they look good they look as they should i love i've always loved the detailing on the sculpt to make it look like scrunched up and we have holes so Felicia's second outfit does include the coat from the first outfit of her original campfire doll. This coat does have Velcro in the front, so you can close it. You have to like close the top part of it right here as well. It's made from a brown suede-like material. And then we have this, this fur that I hate to touch. I don't like the way it feels, but there's like, it's almost cream colored fur all the way around. This looks constructed really nice, very similar to the original. I don't see any huge differences at all. Oh, and we have the little buckle right here for details. And then underneath that, she is wearing the yellow tank top that her original doll came with. It's just like a knit top. It's pretty sheer, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Like, it's pretty sheer. There's yellow ribbon straps, and that uses Velcro in the back. And if you know your Bratz lore, then you know that this was not her skirt originally. This is actually Campfire Chloe's first skirt, but they used it here to kind of casual her outfit a little bit more because uh, the pajamas obviously would not work here. I wish they would have done that like revised version that they posted on their Instagram, but who knows if that even existed at the time of her conception. But anyways, this skirt looks good to me. I've never had the original, but the shape looks nice. The tie, it all works like it should. There's all those orange stitching details. There's a little zipper details on the pockets. And in the back, there is Velcro, but the like belt part controls it more than, than the Velcro does. So, and be careful because I had my other one where um, the skirt broke right here trying to put it on so like the little belt loop broke and there is real belt loops by the way and she finishes that off with her little moccasins these are her, what the original one came with however this one does have yellow detailing instead of blue like these little dots were yellow and it was more of a subdued pink whereas these are more of a hot pink and there's a little brown heel but other than that the sculpt looks good looks good Fiona's second outfit has this top that I think is actually better than the original. It's shaped a lot better. It's more of a V-cut, whereas the original was less of a V-cut, and it just fits better. There is these little brown, like, ribbons right here. They're, like, kind of a suede material as well, I think. It's suede. I don't know. Y'all will yell at me if it's wrong, if I'm wrong, but it's fine. It's fine. I love all the detailing right here, and then it has this, like, blue necklace. It reminds me of a necklace, like, print. She doesn't have to actually put on a necklace, but she gets the effect, and that uses Velcro in the back. And then she has her little church skirt going on here. Very cute. Denim, of course, it's MGA. We always use real denim. There is two layers at the bottom. Everything is hemmed and looks nice. The belt is its own piece. However, it is stitched to the skirt. 
There's little beads at the end for detail. And we have the little flowers as well. This outfit looks good to me, so. Yeah. And she's wearing the same boots that Tiana is wearing, but in brown with cream soles this time. These are a little more white looking than the cream on the original pair. Dana's second outfit does have a pair of pink sunglasses. Now this is her second outfit on the version I got, but later batches will have this swapped for her first outfit, except the jacket is with it. So just a heads up, don't be confused. <laughs> but anyways, she does have this black mesh top, it has one little disco sleeve going on here that does open up at the end. This looks really good, not much to it. Uses Velcro in the back. Now I've never actually had this skirt before, but it is a pink like skirt and it's really really stiff i don't know if it's like a like, i don't know if it's supposed to be like a denim material or not but whatever it is it's very stiff and there is a gold belt stitched onto it you're never gonna lose that it fits okay i feel like it could fit a bit better uh, is there there's a little oh we're not even using ribbon anymore we've we've upgraded to actual mesh fabric so that's nice there's a little slit on it and there's silver glitter all over it but it looks like it's only no it's all around the back me and them ties let me tell you me and them ties are always gonna have a problem because of things like this and for this pair of shoes I don't know, you know i don't really know i know these are what came with the original doll but i don't know about these shoes with this outfit just because brown and black mixing is kind of weird for me but anyways we have a black or like a brown strap with the black heel it's a very classic brats shoe sculpt so we do love to see it. It looks really nice here. And it looks like they've gotten like the skin tone skin tone down. Because like all the other Chloe's have been a little orange or a little pinky, but this one looks pretty good. I say Chloe's. I meant Chloe toned dolls. Alright, we'll put Kobe's outfit on the end of the video. Ugh, on at the end of the I'll put Kobe's second outfit on at the end of the video, but he does have this pair of sunglasses. They're like a see-through orangey yellow plastic with silver detailing, silver arms. They're an interesting pair of glasses for sure. He has this top that has this really nice knitted material for the vest. I have heard that the original had this as two separate pieces, but unfortunately this is just one piece for Kobe, which is a little sad because I do love a good white collared top and this one is made very excellently, even if it is all one piece. <laughs> then he has this pair of simple denim jeans, you know, boys in their basic clothes. The belt is sewn onto it with this little star buckle. Interesting. I've never had the original, so I don't know if the belt was sewn on the original as well, but, well, I have the doll, but I don't think I have his clothes. Anyways, they're nice. They're constructed nice for 2023. All around great. There's a little bit of fraying towards the end. And then he has this pair of brown sneakers that, I don't know, like looking at them, I just feel like they stink. How, what do y'all think but anyways there is like a lighter brown like a beige like a beige color for the laces and for the soles once again you can't really mess up a brat shoe but oh i'm throwing them i don't know i just these shoes something about them is weird for me something all right now we can move on to our dolls and first up we have tiana now if you know anything about rats about brats you know that this is a brand new face greeting and i'm really excited to see it she actually looks a lot like her prototype doll but nobody else just like her original doll had like its own unique screening nobody else has this screening either so we have like a secret date jade eye shape with her i really like the way they did her eyeshadow here too we have a like a cut crease moment and there's just nude eyeshadow on the lid and then she smokes it out with a purple eyeshadow and i think i can't tell what method i feel like she looks a little she looks sprayed to me for sure yeah i think she's sprayed so that's nice and then we have red lips. Now this little Joker lip shape has been controversial, but it is the same lip shape as like the Ooh La La dolls or like Nighty Night Yasmin's lip shape. So I'm not mad at it. I think it's really cool that she has a brand new screen with this combination going on here. And then we have red, pinkish blushing, although mine is a little messed up right here. I don't know what's going on, but that looks cute. And under her rock hard bangs, you can see her eyebrow shape. There she goes. And these are thatched, so like if you wanted to rip them out, you could. As is the standard these days, her hair is nylon. There is a ton of styling gel in it, however, which I don't think was super necessary because it is a straight ponytail. Like this is all hard as a rock. The bangs especially, like 
they are not going anywhere girl <laughs> and her hairstyle is a little funny too so watching it is gonna be gonna be fun so series three has actually brought earrings back series one and two didn't have them as uh, series one obviously they didn't have earrings at all so they didn't need them but series two did have earrings on the original dolls and just omitted them but anyways we have this classic brat sculpt just a silver hoop with like little detailing like teardrop well not teardrop but like fringy it reminds me of fringe but i know it's not fringe diamond fringe that's what we're gonna go with just like her original doll she is wearing this very luxe coat with this very neutral color scheme this type of like mohair i think it is always reminds me of dog fur but i think this is a fun coat so i'm excited to have it i've never had this doll so i'm very excited to have her in my collection and then her top is like this silver fringe material that does not want to stay down like it's supposed to be like that a little bit more but it's not doing that there is little details with a black ribbon with silver dots and then the rest of it is a black mesh and it velcros in the back but there is also a tie up at the front or at the top so yeah her little halter moment and here are her pants they're made of like a stretchy fabric they are a little bit different than her original doll because the original doll did not have this pink reflection on the like decals but it looks really nice i like the pink i think it adds a little something something a little hot hot sauce is that her? that's her nickname right yes and she has this little belt sewn onto it there's this is big giant buckle that it does not want to focus on big giant buckle and then there's little like studded pieces all around and that is sewn to the pants so you shouldn't lose it but it could fall off so just so you know and this look is finished off with a pair of bratz staples the classic strappy heel or one of the classic strappy heels at least <laughs> very cute i've always loved this shoe and the new shoe peg is a little bit shorter, so these do fall off. These fell off on the original peg a lot, too, but I feel like they fall off a little bit easier because of the shorter peg now. Next up, we have probably, like, the holy grail of this collection, right? We have Felicia Campfire, Felicia Repro. I think this is the closest they've ever gotten to a reproduction face, and, you know, as it should be. Like, this is the one they did not want to mess up. But anyways, she has her gorgeous, gorgeous screening. We have a lots of black eyeshadow with a little bit of white on the lid just to give us some dimension. A shimmery pink lip. Very cute. Although this one looks like it has a little bit of a little smudge going on there. But that's just this like type of shimmery paint always just a nightmare. But yeah, I just think she's really, really gorgeous. And I'm so excited she looks so close to the original. Her hair is styled just like the original in two little picky tails with braids. This is nylon hair, of course, though. And I have taken her hair down, and literally all you had to do was, like, wash it with warm tap water, and you're good to go. So, heads up. She has her original top. This one looks a lot cleaner than the original one, though, so I'm thinking that's, like, throwing people off. When I had the original one, it didn't feel much different than this. It's made from the same knit material. There's yellow, pink, and green details going all around. I don't know what this type of printing is called, but it's just like a striped, a striped sweater, you know? The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. Boo! I like to see you come up here and sing. Oh my god, so rude so rude is that how they act in vegas then she has her little cargo pants capris whatever you want to call them they are purple and they're made from a interesting i don't know what this fabric is called but it's soft it feels good there's little pockets right here we have some detailing that's like creamy colored with silver studs all around the only noticeable difference on this pair is that it does not have the belt loop like the original did which is kind of a weird cost cut, but oh, whatever. If that's the only thing missing, then so be it. Also, I haven't seen a lot of people mention it, but the original did have a pair of socks, and this Felicia does not have those socks, but they're so easy to miss with all the layers. Um, I wonder if MJ even knew she had socks. <laughs> and then she has her iconic little Ugg boots. Well, they're not. Are they Uggs? They look like Uggs to me. Uggs before Uggs, and they have like this fur all over them, which is so cute. I love this fur. There is brown details on the boot, and that's it. That's it. Yes, that's it. And brown soles. And the fur on this boot comes off very, very easily, by the way. So if you wanted to, like, I can see a bunch of Leah Core looks happening with this fur for sure. Just so, yeah. Just so you know. 
stunning. Next up is Fiona's reproduction of Funk Out Fiona. She looks really, really pretty. This screening, I think, is gorgeous, but she's always had that ginormous forehead, so it's been, like, hard to appreciate it. But now that her forehead is normal-sized, I think she looks amazing and she's so gorgeous also this screening is really close to the original too actually now that i say that out loud but anyways we have green eyes we have purple shadow on the lip and then green shadow on the crease with a nude pink lip that is lip lined and the shape looks really good on her pink blush very just so pretty just like look at her just like a natural beauty you know what i mean once again, we have nylon hair. We have brown hair with some lighter brown streaks. Very chunky, chunky streaks. And for some reason, like, you see this? This is insane to me. She has tons of gel in her hair, and I don't understand why. And this is a problem on both of them, by the way. Uh, so just so you know, it's not just, like, the one. Like, they both have this huge, giant, just chunk of gel in their hair and i really don't get it because her hair doesn't need any gel at all it's just straight so yeah also i will mention that i do wish she had the headband i feel like the headband completes the look so i actually ordered one on aliexpress but i would have opted for the headband instead of the earrings on her personally and i probably would have opted she didn't even get earrings so i would have given her the hat for sure but I don't know how the budget went, so. But she does have earrings, the classic gold hoop. What can you do? I mean, it's a good hoop. You can't go wrong with a good hoop. So with this reproduction, it seems they wanted to rewrite history a little bit because her outfit is very purple toned, whereas the original's more of a magenta kind of tone, more of this like burgundy red or burgundy magenta-ish color. Anyways, I love this little thingy. I don't know, like, shawl yeah shawl 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 i hear it pronounced both ways but anyways it's made with this mesh material and then the rest of it is this fringe and it's so cute it's really like not practical to wear but i love it like it falls off super easy unless her arms are very specifically positioned but it is so cute i adore it and then once again rewriting history we have a purple mesh top with the silver and gold trim i don't know what the specific trim is called but i think the top looks nice i like it in purple i do kind of like that we're getting a variant i think that's fun but also since we're on the topic of rewriting history i think these definitely could have been on the 2018 bodies at their price point like it but that's just me i feel like every repro should just be on the 2018 body because i want articulation i know some people prefer the stiff arm but honestly I'm only looking out for myself in this topic. Sorry, y'all. And here are her jeans. They look nice. There's less of a green wash than the original had, but there is still like a slight green wash to them. There is these little flower details that are just kind of decaled on with glitter. We have a like burgundy belt with green details as well that is sewn on to the pants. Like the original, by the way, that is not like Oh my god, they're cheaping out. No, that's just how it is. And her shoes have been modified to have purple straps to match this classic, like, chunky <laughs> willow pill moment. You know, chunky flip-flop. Alright, final girl for this review is Dana. So Dana is a reproduction of Funkin' Glow. Funkin' Glow Dana actually had first edition Chloe's screening, and I really adore the new, like, way they do this screening. I think she looks miles better than the, like, original did uh and that goes for chloe as well for the ones that well, at least the pretty chloe <laughs> there's some ugly chloe's but anyways i just really like how this screening looks on the new dolls the way they do it i do think this one looks a little kennedy davenport but i've seen some of them that look better so eventually i'll probably just like exchange one because both of mine kind of have this looking in two direction issue but anyways we do have a pink eyeshadow on the lid we smoke it out with a natural brown dark dark brows glitter highlight under the brow glitter lips they are like a pe like a peachy nude pink color with lip liner they're a little tiny i feel like but maybe it's just the glitter i'm not sure but look at that glitter she is she's ready to funk and glow so she's another one where they really went ham with that styling gel i mean it is just all up in that this ponytail for the most part is not super gelled though just like this one random streak which is probably the like 
end part of the braid that wraps around. No, it's not. I'm literally looking at it. Uh, love the braid. Super cute. Love this hairstyle. However, <laughs> I could do without the styling gel, as I think anybody would say, but I'm okay with the hair looking messy in the box. Just saying. So I thought she had the same pair of earrings that Tiana did, but now that I'm looking at it up close, they are slightly different. It's like the same type of moment, but there is not a... The hoop is not open. It's like a full solid piece of gold going on here. Big chunks. Big, big chunks. So I think this Dana was a good choice, but it's kind of funny that they chose her because she's wearing an outfit that is completely recycled <laughs> from other dolls. But anyways, I think it looks really good. Here is the coat. We have this light denim wash. Well, it's like a dark denim, but in the middle. I'm going to call it in the middle denim wash coat with pink fur sleeves. This pink fur feels amazing. It reminds me of the pink fuzzy box. And it's also right here on the collar, right here as well. And then we have this little tie around belt moment. This does not have the little Sugar Shoes logo, unfortunately, like the original did. Uh, even if it wasn't going to be like lit up, I would have liked to still see it like embroidered or something. But anyways, they all have the original head sculpt, by the way. I haven't mentioned that, but we've been using the original head sculpt, so I don't even feel like mentioning it anymore. Let's look underneath her coat. Underneath her coat, she's just wearing this like shiny fabric, this metallic fabric gold top. It's just a little tank moment, and that uses Velcro in the back. Gotta, you know, tie it in. Tie it in, girl. And here are her jeans. So cute. I do love this pair of denim. They are a dark wash. There is gold glitter. I think there's a little bit of silver glitter as well. All over them. They look really good. There is this belt that is sewn onto it. There is little gems for detailing and a gold buckle. And that only goes to the front. I don't know if that's how it's like on the original. I have not owned the original, nor do I think I own this pair of specific pants, but it's not a big deal. It's whatever to me. And here they are at the bottom. Everything, you know, like a boot cut, you know. That's how we were doing it back in 2003 is when she came out, I'm pretty sure. 2003, Funk and Glow. Not 2002. Yeah, 2003. And once again, with the browns and the blacks, we have... What's more of a... Yeah, it's, it's still brown. A brown heel with a black straps. Once again, classic Bratz sculpt. Love the shape. They're not like super versatile for restyles, I feel like, but I do love these shoes just because they just remind me of Bratz. When I look at them, I'm like, that's a Bratz shoe. Obviously. <laughs> and our final doll for the day is Kobe. So here's Kobe's face. Not much going on. I do feel like his lips are very orange, but they're kind of like that on the original too, so I can't fault them too much there. Um, he doesn't have like the super cute boys greeting, unfortunately. We're still in the early stages here. <laughs> But yeah, that, that's Kobe. So I don't know who he made a deal with, but he got to keep his hat. And it's like this mustardy looking beanie. It's a nice beanie. Uh, well, it's kind of beige. I don't know. It's kind of, it's beige. I think it's more beige than mustardy. Yeah. Underneath that, we can see it has a full head of hair. This is nylon, of course. I did, like, the doll comes with it, like, all pushed back in the beanie. But I did take this little piece out and kind of styled it, like... So, although it still needs some help because it's kind of defying gravity, just because that's how it looks in the art. So, you know. And he does have flocked sides, by the way. His head is flocked. He is wearing a blue collared top. The collar is like almost brown, but it's not really brown fabric. It's like a cotton material. Uh, this looks really nice, although it is missing the buttons that the original had, so it looks a little cheaper, but honestly, the boys didn't reproduce at all at this point. Shocking, so. <laughs> Good for the boys. Good for the boys. So he has this pair of, like, beige khaki light. Well, they're not, like, khakis, but, like, beige pants. Um, are they beige? I don't know, they're kind of, like, dark beige. Uh, everything's starting to look the same to me. I've been doing this for a while. But anyways, they look nice. They're fine. They're tan. Tan colored. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. His outfit's kind of funky. <laughs> but it's, they're just going off the doll. I can't even be mad at yeah. it. Then he has these brown shoes. <laughs> oh, oh, they are a tennis shoe for sure. With dark brown soles and gray details. Kobe. <laughs> they, of all the Kobe dolls to choose, I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I would have chosen this one personally, but the second outfit's a lot better at least. Okay, yeah, this fits Kobe's style a lot more. Like, in my head, this is more of what Kobe dresses like. 
But anyways, that's all I have for Bratz Series 3. I really, really, really love this series. And I'm so happy that we are still getting Bratz. Like, that's so great to me. Like, Bratz are still thriving. I'm really excited to see what they do in this upcoming year. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. And as always, if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe and follow my socials. And I will see y'all next time we have a party to get to in, in Vegas. She didn't tell us about a party. Girl, she's going by herself.